Hello and welcome to Farm Space. Um, so, okay, automatic um, sheep feeding uh, or whatever you want to feed, but pelletizing it, doing it automatically. It's got its own cart, then it goes along like and it throws the, uh, the pellets into where they need to be, the feeding cribs or wherever. So, Billy is going to tell us a little bit more. Pull out this whole plant and it's, it's really awesome. Check this. Billy, how are you doing? Andre, I'm well. The question is, how are you today? No, I'm good, I'm good. Always good when I'm visiting you. So, okay, please tell me about this plant. I'm really, really interested. So, um, you look at that car, if you guys can see there. There. There's a, that thing basically moves on its own and it decides how much it should give and when it should give it and so forth. But we'll get to that. We're going to start at the beginning. So, Here's the beginning of the plant. Explain to me a little bit more. Um, first of all, why is this thing so skew? No, <laughs> sorry, uh, Andre. This is supposed to go into ground level. Okay, so this is this goes into the ground. Yeah. My my hole is occupied. I've got a hole at the back <laughs> uh, that's occupied now. Yeah, a little bit. A little full bit occupied, there. full of machine. Yeah. So this sits into ground level. So this is actually. In, in the ground. Yep. So what happened is your your tractor drawn feed mixer, any make, any model, doesn't matter, come. It chucks in feed in here. If the feed looks like something like this, it's fine, chopped in this, this size. So then you take it up into a holding bin. Uh, we use a conveyor belt. Um, we call this a live bottom bin. Now, to give you a rough idea the way it looks like, it's basically this with that on the inside. Ah, okay. With a proper set of, proper set of, of gears on the end. This runs in oil. In the past oh, 20 years, I haven't, I haven't changed a single one. Andre, so when you add your... Um, grass or, or your let's call it your mixture in there we've got a chain conveyor so the live bottom only agitates the product in order in order to get it flowing then you've got the chain conveyor which takes the product out up to here yep. and then you've got a belt conveyor and this is where the normal pellet plants start sorry the plant is not as cramped up as it's now, but we're <laughs> yeah, running well, out of space in the factory. And then, then it basically goes into the pelletizer? It goes into the pelletizer. Let's walk around and I can show you on this side. So to recap, you've got your intake bin or your intake belt bin variable speed the chain conveyor which is controlled just like the normal machine you control the speed of that of that chain conveyor passing the magnet super strong magnet i can't find a piece of metal now pelletizer then the pellets goes from here to the cooling bin at the back you see that yellow thingy on the side of the cooling bin yes that's a that's a bin level switch so the moment it reach a high level it would discharge for let's say 10 minutes, ach, uh, sorry, seconds, 38, 50 seconds, whatever. Then the product comes into this holding bin. So at the bottom, you can, you can either, this, it's a diverter valve, so you can add it into the bin, or you can bag, just bag off, it you just bag it off here. So if, you, if you've got animals in the field, you can bag off here. Sorry, this is missing a, a support will be done believe me <laughs> um, and then the, the nice thing happen is you've got a, a awesome little cart here um, it it drives itself up to here on the track so both sides you'll have left and right you will have your pins and all all one got to do is you got little shifters which we call the handout program I want to show you this <laughs> This is basically the handheld programmer and by moving by moving it from one space to the other, oh that one mustn't be there. And this no feed feed. Okay, but 
explain to me quickly. You say that's a handheld programmer, but explain to me quickly yeah, how that then right. basically Sorry. Um, how that then works. We've got we've got um, uh, infrared eyes. Yep. So when it sees product or when it sees the reflector, so yeah, no product, or let's say yeah, no product, product, and then it's a combination hundred grams. Another one. So it will go like this. 100 grams, 200 grams, 400 grams, nothing. So that's how we do the programming. So it's easy, easy to program. So this is basically a switch. This is basically a switch. Just reading off, um, it's an it's a infrared sensor and it works on reflective. So it, it, even though if this is covered by dust, it doesn't, and it's, and it's not a con non-contact. So there's not a limit switch. Yep running here all the so it's time. That's gonna, it's not wear and tear. It, it's, it will wear out. We only use like a limit switch on the position because that's only going to strike five times a day. I'm with but you. if you've got a limit switch like that on here, like the guys in Hope Town, they've got, then you're doing 400 strikes when you go up and down another 400. So then that's it wears out with, with, within a year or whatever. And then it's gone. Oh, that, that's not going to work. I'm, I'm just fascinated. Um, because this thing, even though it's not that, I mean, it's not really that heavy. But you're putting on a double chain. Why? What's the most annoying thing when you're in a restaurant? <laughs> I've got no clue. Please no, tell me. Uh, a clueless waiter. <laughs> yeah, because you're true. hungry, the saliva is flowing, everything is happening, but the waiter is not attending to you. Imagine you've got a, a pen full of sheep and the trolley is not moving. It's going to put you under pressure. And what about your customers? That's the sheep. So, Andre, we like rather over designing. Instead of having just one chain, you put a double chain. It costs that tad more, but it's going to last forever and two weeks maybe. And what I want to get to is this is basically automated feed automated sheep feeding done manually does that sound or yeah <laughs> yeah that's, that's <laughs> exactly it correct. that's exactly it so the 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 handheld programmer sits on the pin you go and you select what how much feed this pin should get and remember this is just a system with one trolley we can do this like in four trolleys um, this, this is one of our of our feeding systems we've got another feeding system where we run a belt along here, so this would be would be chucking onto the belt. Yep. I think we've done a video on it some some time back, um, feeding belt system or something. Yep. Depending on the client's requirements, this this never a right and wrong. It's just what will work for the customer and what he feels comfortable with. So, if you look at the trolley, it it, it will have a uh, this rope pull switch. You're just waiting the paint to dry. A rope pull switch would sit there and it comes along the perimeter of the, of the trolley. So if one strikes the limit, n nobody can, especially kids, because this guy especially got children. So therefore, we try and make it safe as possible. No, definitely. So, so how many sheep will I be able to do with this, uh, uh, with this whole operation here? And if we, if we work it like this, let's, let's say you're feeding two kilograms per day per sheep and we're feeding five times a day. So that would be 400 grams per sheep per feeding. Yep. So but I mean, that would be for the older sheep. You're going to have everything. The in youngsters would answer. obviously have le le less. Yeah. Yep. So your average would be about 1.8 kilograms average. So then if this bin is holding 800 kilograms, so then we'll be able to feed 2,000 sheep um, with this trolley. Per day? Per, per day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or per feeding. So, day, yeah, yeah. so that's basically, so this operation at the end of the day basically can easily do about 2,000 sheep and I'm talking about fully grown sheep and if you've got all the other stuff in between, you can go a little bit more. Okay, now the thing is, what, what we said now is the, the volume of this hopper. If we make this double, you can double up. The, the guys in, in Hope Town are feeding 
10 and uh, uh, 15, 5 and 10, 15,000 sheep with the same system. But their trolleys are obviously higher and the whole trolley weighs about 16 ton. But I think we've got a video on the loose feed feeding with a trolley like this. I'll put the link up there. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Andre. Billy, thank you very much. Right, so it is Billy Jones here from Jones Machine. So, feeding equipment and that thing you know, feeds the sheep. It's a automatic manual sheep feeder. <laughs> See you from Farm Space till next time. Cheers.